Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Buckle up because OpenAI's latest brainchild, the O1 model, is causing quite a stir in the AI world. But here's the kicker, boys. It comes with a pretty wild catch. If you're too curious about its inner workings, you might find yourself locked out faster than you can say artificial intelligence. So, heads up, the questions I'm about to dive into in this video, yeah, maybe don't ask ChatGPT those if you want to keep your access. Don't get me wrong, as this isn't just another AI update. O1 is turning heads in big business and schools alike. It's crushing it in coding, healthcare, and scientific research, leaving even the brainiest human experts scratching their heads. But wait, there's more for us all. OpenAI isn't resting on its laurels. They're on a hiring spree, looking for top-notch engineers to crank this baby up to level 3. We're talking about AI that doesn't just think, but acts on its own. Isn't it scary? Maybe. Exciting? Absolutely. We're inching closer to that sci-fi dream of artificial general intelligence, folks. So what makes O1 such a big deal? It's all about that sweet, sweet reasoning power. Imagine moving from a chatbot that just answers questions to having a digital Einstein in your pocket. O1 isn't just responding, it's solving problems like a human would, diving deep into multi-step reasoning that would make even Sherlock Holmes proud. And that name, O1, is not just some random label. OpenAI is sending a message. This is a fresh start, a new chapter in the universe of AI. They're resetting the game, pushing the boundaries of what artificial intelligence can do. But here's where things get a bit, you know, mysterious. Unlike its chatty predecessors, O1 keeps its cards close to its chest. You won't see all the nuts and bolts of its thinking process. It's like having a genius friend who solves your toughest problems but won't tell you exactly how they did it. Intriguing? Absolutely. Is it a bit unsettling? You bet. Now, here's where things get really interesting, folks. OpenAI isn't just playing hide-and-seek with O1's thought process for fun. It's all part of their master plan to keep this AI prodigy on a tight leash. They're like helicopter parents, watching every move O1 makes without letting us see the whole picture. But don't ever think you can outsmart the system. Some tech-savvy users tried to peek behind the curtain, and boy, did they get a surprise. One engineer got a stern warning from OpenAI just for asking O1 to spill the beans on its reasoning. Talk about overprotective. So why all the secrecy? OpenAI claims it's for our own good. They're worried that if O1 gets too smart too fast, it might start pulling some sneaky moves or even cause harm. It's like they're training a super intelligent puppy and don't want it chewing up the furniture, or in this case, manipulating humans. Now, OpenAI knows this hush-hush approach isn't perfect. They're not denying there are some downsides to keeping O1's thoughts under wraps. But in their eyes, spotting any risky behavior before it happens is worth the trade-off. To make up for it, they're teaching O1 to be more like that smart kid in class who not only gives you the answer but explains how they got there. Now let's talk about what this digital brainiac can actually do. We're not talking about your average chatbot here. O1 is the Einstein of AI when it comes to deep reasoning tasks. Now picture this. O1 took on the International Mathematics Olympiad qualifying exam. You know, the one that makes even math geniuses sweat. And guess what? It scored a mind-blowing 83%. To put that in perspective, its older sibling GPT-4 only managed a measly 13%. Talk about a family rivalry. But O1 isn't just a math whiz. It's also giving human coders a run for their money. In coding competitions on code forces, think of it as the Olympics for programmers. O1 ranked in the 89th percentile. That's better than 89% of human coders out there. Now, let's talk about OpenAI's grand plan. Their CEO, Sam Altman, has laid out a five-level AI evolution chart. And trust me, it's mind-blowing. Let's break down OpenAI's AI evolution roadmap, shall we? It's like a video game, but instead of fighting bosses, we're creating them. Level 1. The Chatty Beginnings Remember when we first met ChatGPT? That's our level 1. Friendly AI that can chat, answer questions, and maybe crack a joke or two. It's like the tutorial level of AI. Level 2, the deep thinker. Enter O1, our current champion. This is AI that doesn't just talk, it reasons. It's solving complex problems and making us mere mortals scratch our heads. We're in this exciting level right now. Level 3, the self-starter. Next up, we've got AI that doesn't wait for your prompts. It's like having a digital assistant that anticipates your needs before you even know them. Imagine waking up to find your AI has already planned your day, answered your emails, and ordered your favorite coffee. Level 4. The Innovator This is where things get really sci-fi. 
Level 4 AI isn't just solving known problems, it's making new discoveries. We're talking about AI that could cure diseases or solve climate change. It's not just smart, it's groundbreaking. Level 5, the boss. The final boss level, AI running entire organizations. Imagine an AI CEO making strategic decisions, managing resources, and maybe even giving motivational speeches to its human employees. Sam Altman thinks we might zoom from level 2 to level 3 faster than you can update your smartphone. Once AI learns to think deeply, acting on those thoughts is just a small step away. Buckle up, folks. The future's coming at us faster than we can imagine. OpenAI isn't just focusing on solo AI superstars. They're cooking up something called multi-agent research. Picture this. A bunch of AI brains getting together for the ultimate brainstorming session. It's like the Avengers, but for artificial intelligence. Now, let's talk real-world impact. O1 isn't just hanging out in labs, it's already making waves in the business world. We're not just talking about AI filing your TPS reports here. O1 is tackling the big guns, complex problems in finance, healthcare, and cutting-edge research. Imagine a healthcare researcher using O1 to crack the code of genomic data in minutes instead of months. That's not science fiction, folks. It's happening right now. Take Dr. Daria Unukmaz, for example. This immunologist used O1 to whip up a cancer treatment proposal in less than a minute. We're talking about a framework that would usually take weeks to create, complete with fresh ideas that even seasoned pros might miss. Talk about a game changer. And it's not just medicine getting an AI boost. The world of education is jumping on the O1 bandwagon too. Dr. Kyle Kabasaris, an astrophysicist, shared a mind-blowing story. O1 did in one hour what took him a whole year during his PhD. Can you imagine knocking out your thesis in less time than it takes to watch a movie? With O1, researchers and students can spend less time on grunt work and more time on those eureka moments. Now, I know what you're thinking. With all this power, how do we keep O1 from going rogue? Well, OpenAI's got that covered for us. They've basically given O1 a super advanced moral compass. We're talking about safety measures that make your phone's security look like a rusty padlock. They have taught O1 to actually reason through rules and regulations. It's like having a digital Sherlock Holmes that's also an ethics professor. Pretty cool, right? And for all you privacy buffs out there, breathe easy. OpenAI swears they're not using your data to train these AI brainiacs. They've even put O1 through the digital equivalent of Navy SEAL training to resist hacking attempts. On a scale of 1 to 100, O1 scored an impressive 84 in hack resistance. All right, tech enthusiasts, that's all for today's deep dive into the world of O1 and the future of AI. If you're as excited or terrified about this stuff as I am, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you think about this AI revolution.